as you can see, I said I was going to give away this jersey after the last video. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing it. So uh, You didn't give it away yet. No, I this, gave mine this, away. Uh, I guess StockX is a little slower. It took approximately three months to arrive. So uh, I will give it away now. Sorry about the delay, but someone can have this. You definitely look like a hype beast. <laughs> Swag. And someone else is now gonna look like Hype Beast. Last time, we got some jerseys. This time out, we're looking at old hockey equipment. Just, just anything that kinda gets our nostalgia kick going. It's time for the segment where we shop on the internet for sports gear till we say those three words our wallets fear. Buy, Buy it, it now! now. Before we start off, as always, helps us out if you hit like. Like seeing more Bar Down content, just support us with a like. Help you see more videos from us. Okay. Well, I mean, I started things off last time, so why don't you start things off this time? Uh, this one, hockey equipment, it's something I've wanted for a long time because one, I think it's probably the only version of this I would use, and also, uh, it's hilarious. Ooh, <laughs> I remember these. We've got Oakley? the Danny Heatley Oakley visor that covers about three quarters of your face. If you're not aware of the legend of Danny Heatley, the man who asks for one timers from the corner. Wait, how many goals? 50. And in what year? Oh, seven. 50 and 07. Now you know. I gotta point one thing out about this. So the visor is $60. Your shipping is almost the exact same cost. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I never look at shipping costs. I ordered something recently that was like, 50 bucks and then it got here and it was $90 shipping. This guy's such an idiot here. Oh, it's coming from Massachusetts too. So you're getting hit with a healthy import fee probably too. That's brutal. So it sounds like you don't like this one. As That's much as we... you want half your face covered by a visor. Still, by the way, not covering enough of your face, if we're being honest, in a beer league, hockey league. I'm not trying to lose teeth. I've been thinking about switching to a visor. You're a coward, you won't. Y you've been thinking about it ever since you were born, but you haven't done it. <laughs> Either way, okay, l l let's move on. We all realize that that's a pretty legendary item there, and I would be lucky to have it. I don't know if I'm going to pay those import fees. Let's see what you're considering now. Name a sport that makes pro stock more available to the public than hockey. You know what I honestly think it is? I think the thing is, is that I don't think there's another sport that uses as much equipment as hockey. It's I don't insane. Know, like, what if I wanted, you know, Tom Brady's jock? What the hell? Maybe you should wait for a little later in this episode of Bin Boys. Why is it? Are you gonna? Is this someone's jock coming up? Yeah, I guess you have to wait and see. By the way, I do not want Tom Brady's jock. I was joking. So, anyways, here it is. This is a Vesa Toscala Toronto Maple Leafs mask. Ew! What? <laughs> oh come! On. That's. Awful. So I hate that. So Vesa Toscala, the uh, proud owner of one of the funniest highlights of all time, the 200 foot goal. On top of that, he posted like an 871 save percentage in one of his years. He wasn't that great with the Leafs. So it makes sense to me that he wouldn't want to keep his mask. It can be yours for the low, low price of $6,700. That's the worst. One, there's no way Z has that much money. Two. <laughs> Are you calling me poor, bro? I don't think uh, not having $7,000 laying around, I don't think that makes you poor. Uh, sorry, I, I can't is, hear you. I have Vesa Toscala's money next to my ear. Maybe the worst goalie in Leafs history? Uh, no. At least worst starting goalie, for sure. You just listed a distinction as to why maybe you'd want to own it. Wouldn't you want to have that? The mask of the guy who might be the worst Leafs goalie in history? Combine all that with that, like, it's not even that nice of a mask. Like, what, are you trying to copy Cujo, you absolute bum? Why, because it has teeth? I'm not trying to shred Vesa Toskala. I'm sure he's a nice guy. It's like, what are you trying to copy Cujo, you absolute bum? There's so much pro stock gear out there that one, is not only yeah. way more affordable than this, but two, uh, is from people I liked as players. <laughs> so you know what? I am really... out on this. Uh, speaking I... of pro stock, by the way, sorry. I, I know I did this to you last time and you were like, what the hell, you double dipped. Are you about to send another link? Uh, maybe. You break the rules of this game every time. <laughs> this isn't even on the same topic. Yeah, it is, pro stock. <laughs> so thought... on the pro topic of pro stock, I get it. That item sucks. How about Ilya Kovalchuk's pants from his rookie season? Terrible price, but better than say, the last like, these one. Are, these are pretty cool, but like horrendous price. So you don't think this ties in? I'll tell you how it ties in. He didn't win the Calder that year. And, and this is the rookie season pants, but you know who did? Danny Heatley, all-star. So <laughs> if you Shout want, out. get these pants and you can be part Ilya 
and get that visor and you can be other part Danny Healy All-Star. Honestly, I, j I just fully pretend to be Danny Healy All-Star. I also just want to note, 419 US, pretty steep, but thankfully they offer a $35 a month for 12 months payment plan. Can you imagine <laughs> seeing on your credit card statement, oh, 35 a month again for what was it? Oh yeah, my Kovalchuk pants. Oh yeah, 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 my old Thrasher's Nike hockey pants. <laughs> put those on layaway for me. <laughs> <laughs> if you put Ilya Kovalchuk's rookie girdle on layaway, you have a problem. And one yeah. that even we can't fix. Okay, next item. And now that I know we're sending like tons of links through, I'm just gonna send you all of the skates that I was looking at. No, so for... come on, just send me the best one you want. I'm not gonna do it again. Yeah, I know, but I didn't do it once yet, so I'm gonna do it this time. <laughs> Don't send me six. No, I'm gonna send you three. Okay, so the first one, this is just a good deal. Ooh, okay, so what like, is with that holder? Those T blades? Yeah, those are T blades. So graphs used to come with T blades, and then twenty five uh, bucks. Exactly. Like what a deal! And those are five hundred dollars uh, skates with T blades on them. I like, gotta be honest. Those look like twenty five dollars skates. They are in rough condition. I don't think they're in that rough of condition. I think that's just how graphs look. <laughs> there are two photos, and on both angles, it looks rough as hell. What do you mean it doesn't look rough? Look, look at the look at the toe caps. That looks like a pretty normal toe cap. So around like basically where your ankle is, if there's like extreme folds in the leather and stuff like that, then I'm like, oh, this is destroyed. Look, like look this how is old not... these look. The leather the... used on these skates was the same that they cut for Satchel Paige's glove. No, that, if, that looks man, old. If you've used graphs before, these don't look that bad. Yeah, I get that. I, I took us to the penthouse with my pick but you like straight up my guy you took us to the gutter these are <laughs> gutter skates okay wait i'm sending you my second one now oh okay these are sick <laughs> we're on kijiji now so like that's in oakville i can pick that up there's no shipping costs there's no customs fees they look in like decent condition my concern like the, as much as they look in like pretty good condition on the boot you can tell they're pretty well used because of the blade like you can see like that that blade is almost finished you're gonna have to replace those so these are like the fedorovs i mean not the right color i just want the fedorov ones like that's always what i'm gonna hold out for it's so like nice. oh my god that's the nicest are skate on ever the list by the way fun fact as you know fedorov left nike at one point I was reading up on this and Rick Westhead of all people wrote <laughs> after Nike sold their share of Bauer away. It said in Rick's article that Fedorov may have left because he didn't like the fit of the equipment. Like really? That was, re that was reportedly possibly part of it. Like, I mean, that, that makes sense. Skates are pretty particular like that. It sucks that Nike's not around anymore. Aside from making cool ads, which by the way, super risque, there was an ad with that. A Habs goalie where he straight up just said, Die, Maple Leafs, die. Go away, Maple Leafs. You remind me of Matt Sundin. Die, Maple Leafs. Another side note, I don't know if you know this, the reason Nike apparently entered hockey in the first place is because inline skating was like super red hot and they saw that as their in, was like inline hockey stuff. How insane Wild. is that? They thought Wild. like rollerblading was like the next big thing. It was a billion dollar industry. And then everyone's like, yeah, rollerblades aren't that cool. <laughs> So while we're on that Nike uh, nostalgia trip, I have one more for us here okay, that okay. Uh, this skate is one Ooh. that I've been chasing forever that like I just think is so cool. It's basically a skate that Nike specially designed for Gretzky for the Heritage Classic game in 2003 where like when he played as a alumni member. Oh. So he wore these. Oh, it's got the blue holders. He didn't wear these specific ones. Like he had a pair of these that he wore in the game, but the they made 99 pairs of these. You can see on the toe cap, it says, so this pair here is 56 out of 99. I don't love this swoosh logo. Like when they came out with the whole Nike Quest line, I was never a big fan of those. Like, I don't know what Quest is. I don't know where that line came from or like- By the I way, I appreciate the segue. Let us take our Quest to some more Nike Quest equipment. It's that Mario Lemieux Gold Rush 2002 starter kit. So first you need the gloves, not a great price, but they're brand new, they got the tags on them. But if you really want to complete the look, you're gonna need this thing. See, like, this helmet's ugly, but I like it kind of ugly. Yeah, you know it's, what I mean? it's like, cool ugly. Cause like straight up, you look like you're going into the Tour de France with this thing. This doesn't look like yeah. a hockey helmet. I stand by what I said. The Nike Quest era of Nike hockey equipment is for sure the worst era of Nike hockey equipment. Honestly, Actually, now that I think about it, considering how close it was to the end of the Nike hockey equipment era, maybe the reason it died. <laughs> <laughs> so my next one, it's a little uh, lower on the body. What? 
It's like almost a helmet for your lower body. <laughs> uh, uh, you're, you're done. What is this? This isn't even available for purchase. This isn't even for sale anymore. <laughs> Someone okay, bought this, a joke, but and it I, says I just, used, and someone bought it apparently, <laughs> or it just got taken down. When I came across it, I couldn't not share it. That apparently someone put Tyler Sagan's jock strap on eBay at one point, sold it for two hundred and fifty bucks. Uh, that's a good price, US. actually. That's an exclusive item. I've never seen a player's uh, pro stock jock strap for sale before. It's a pretty good reason for that. I'm okay, not... so but my actual item, my third item. Ooh. Uh, by the way. These are the worst product shots I've ever seen. Yeah, it, some it, of it the shows worst. a close up of the stick, and then it shows a, a close up just looking down at the stick at a weird angle. Yeah, and super and it weird. shows the floor that looks like the wall at Spadina Station. What's up, Toronto reference? And then they just show the blade, like really close. And honestly, you kind of usually want the side of the stick to show it. It's the Gretzky curve. This is like Gretzky's most iconic stick, the white and red Titan. Why Maybe is one there day a I'll curve? do a Gret like, you know, isn't that like for raising stuff? <laughs> I mean, he tried his best, but uh, just to no success. I'm tired of taking spills for you. Okay, well, you ready for my next item? <laughs> 60 bucks for the most fashionable pants in all of sports. Look at these Those things. are weird ones. They look like dress but like, pants. don't they? I thought they normally had like stripes and stuff. Yeah, like these ones, the all black, it looks like dress pants or like, or like workers pants or something. I, I, I just still can't believe that someone convinced Bobby Clark that he had to wear these. They, they just told <laughs> him, they're like, ah, oh, sorry, man. I wish we could wear regular hockey pants, but we have to wear these tap dancing pants. Anyways. Okay. That's it. Well. That's all of them. That's all the items. Time to buy something, right? I kind of hate all mine, actually. Like, I don't, like, because, like, I think I'll hold out for a Danny Heatley Pro Stock helmet. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll go for the Gretzky stick. Okay, he's going for the Gretzky stick. So, I, I'm not buying one thing. I'm buying two things. I'll be taking these Cooper Alls. These are mine. As my second item. We just started talking about Zoom Airs a lot, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna introduce a new item at this point. <laughs> What? And I'm buying it. Tell me those aren't nasty. Ew, I don't like those at all. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. One, they have the most worn down wheels I've ever seen. <laughs> it looks like someone yacked on the toe. Yeah, someone vomited on the front of those. <laughs> and the all black neon green version of this boot, probably the ugliest version. No, they're not. All black? These are pretty sick. Why are they showing up close photos of the vomit? <laughs> so you can ensure that they are dirty and i will not clean them before i give them to you <laughs> so why am i getting these as we just said here the real reason nike even wanted to get into hockey in the first place it was so that they could make rollerblades and here they are this is a piece of hockey history folks the reason nike got into hockey well there it is we wasted some more money yeah. You know what? I feel good about my purchases. Also, I'd love to hear if you guys buy anything. I mean, like, even if you buy any yeah. of the things you guys that- buying any of this other stuff? If you guys buy anything that we didn't buy in this, or if you're just buying other hockey equipment, Duncan GG, we'd love to see some of your finds, because, uh, I don't know, that's just cool. Hit us up in the comments. We do do another Bin Boy segment. What would you like to see us buy? Maybe, you know, keep it a little realistic. <laughs> Bin Boy!